have a very cool super fan, and it's very impressive. Yeah. One of your super fans is none other than Billie Eilish. I mean, can we take a moment? Yeah. Yeah. And Billie Eilish was recently quizzed on The Office trivia. How did she do? She did fantastic. She has watched the show end to end when I interviewed her 12 times. Dang! She's the hugest Office fan in the world, and she knew... I mean, I asked them to get, like, the hardest Office trivia right. possible known to man, and she nailed it. She was a little nervous at first, which was weird, <laughs> that she was, like, a little nervous. I can't even imagine her nervous. Me? I know. She's not nervous about anything, but uh, she really... She, she nailed it. She did a great job. So, was that your first time meeting Billy? It was, yeah. Okay, yeah. so, obviously, Billy knows a lot about The Office. I'm curious to know, Wayne, do you know about Billy? Uh-oh. That's right. Uh-oh. So I have three trivia questions to see how well you know Billie Eilish. Are you ready? Her average fan is like 11, so... Oh, okay. well... Okay, here we go. Here we go. Number one. Okay. Billie was born the same year as which handheld musical technology? iPod. iPod shop. That is yes. correct. Oh, yes, oh, that is correct. Wow. Was that a guess? It was like 17, 18. That's, that's exactly when that came out. Oh, my goodness. Okay, wow. number two. Good. Yeah. All right, lucky, okay. lucky. Billy has a song with the same name as which television show of yours? Um, uh, bad guy who did not do a show called Six Feet Under. Six Feet Under is correct. Wow. Two out of three. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if you get this one. This is a tough one. Are you ready? Okay. Which Canadian musical heartthrob was Billy's first love? I'll give you a hint. It should be, but it is not me. <laughs> and it's not Drake. I can see that in your eyes. He's mine. It's the Beebs. Justin Bieber is the correct. Beebs. Justin Bieber is correct. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. Billy, if you're watching this, Rain knows just as much I'm, about you. I am basically her stalker, and I know that's a little creepy. Does it ever get annoying when people call you Dwight, though? But strangers come up to you, oh, my God, Dwight, Dwight, Dwight. Does so that annoy you? The, uh, that happens a lot. That happens a lot. I get people driving by going, yo, Dwight. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I, there was a kid in Chicago, mm -hmm. and he was going down the street. He's like, Dwight, Dwight. I turn around, and he's like, oh, man, can I get a picture with you? I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> and I was like, OK, well, then what's my name? <laughs> and he's like, I don't know. He didn't know like, your name. Well, then you're not my biggest fan if you don't know my name. And that's it, and I walked away. And I tweeted about that, and everyone thought I was a total ass. No, I mean, I think that's very fair. It's kind of a Dwight it. thing to do. But I also, what I do in case of these situations, I have these little cards made up that I give people <laughs> on the street. Let me see this. That says, I asked Rain Wilson, the guy who played Dwight on The Office, on some other roles for a selfie, and all I got was this idiotic card. <laughs> and then there's a place to, to tape to your put little, your picture. A little selfie right there. You can tape your little selfie, and uh, it's like you took a picture with me. That is amazing. Round of applause for this. This is so genius. Yeah. I can do this. Yeah, and I'm going to pull oh. Oprah. I've got cards for you and for you and for you. Y'all get for cards. You. So on the note of approaching celebrities, yeah. <clears throat> you've had some interesting conversations, or rather, should I say, one-way conversations with people online, specifically Drake. You've tweeted a lot. If we take a look here. Your, your man? That, Drake. That, correct. My man, Drake. Correct. Thank you. Um, when you tweeted him saying, when you hear that hotline bling, it can only mean one thing, then you replied saying, wait, what does, what, what does that mean? And Drake says, sexual intercourse. That's right. But this is just all you talking to yourself. Is this yeah. a fantasy or what? Listen, what... No, I, I view it as a service to the listening audience of Drake. Mm -hmm. He's a poet. He's like, he's like a Canadian Shakespeare, okay? <laughs> and his poetry is fraught with like metaphor and simile and mm -hmm. allegory. Yep. And a lot of times people just don't get exactly what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. So he's like, when I hear the hotline bling, it can only mean one thing. Mm -hmm. And, like, people don't know. You're they right. They don't know what that means. Absolutely. Uh, should we go shopping? I don't know what it means. <laughs> Let's take a ferry boat ride. I don't know what the hotline bling means. So, you know, it means uh, sexual intercourse with sexual organs. <laughs> Thank you for explaining that to all the parents people at home. I appreciate that. People need to know that that's what he meant. Thank so. you for your service, my friend. Thank you for your service. You're welcome. You're welcome, Canada.